Now, photography hide, also known as a blind, can help you with one of the most difficult things in wildlife photography, and that is actually getting close to the animals to photograph them. A hide can be a fantastic way to get into a position where you can capture some unique images of wildlife. It means that you sometimes may be able to witness animals behaving completely natural without them even knowing that you're there. This is also a benefit to the animals. Without them knowing that you're there, you cause less of a disturbance and they can go about with their day-to-day -day lives. Usually they're very busy gathering food, not being eaten or trying to mate. So in this video, I'm gonna go through the hides the Tragopan offer and I'm gonna help you pick out the one that's best suited for you and the projects that you have. Now the first hide we're gonna look at is a standard pop-up hide. This is an older version that I have. On the website, we have a new updated version with a new camouflage pattern and better window solutions. It comes in a handy bag, packs up quite small and light, so it's easy to attach to a backpack, carry along, or maybe just keep it in the car for those opportunistic moments when you need a hide. It is also a very quick one to put up. Pops up really quick. It also has some poles so you can wreck this. Rain just bounces off it a lot easier. So it basically has one big opening the four shooting windows on each side. The main gear that you're gonna need for this hide is basically a tripod to hold your lens and camera steady at the window height and a camping chair. And Tragopan do sell Cockless version two chairs, which is ideal for these hides. It sits low and it's got two big pockets that you can put additional gear in when you're sitting in it. Very soon they will all be updated to this camouflage pattern here, just a little bit more faded all season pattern. This is the kind of hide that I will use for almost opportunistic hide photography. So it's the kind of thing you could just keep with you in your car or something like that. Maybe you see some birds that are often perching near their nest or something. You can set this up nearby or maybe for some mammals or something like that. You find a mammal path, you want to photograph deer or something like that. Next hide we're going to look at is the Hockey V3. It packs up extremely small and light, really easy to take with you, weighs about three kilograms in the bag. Now the Hockey V3 is a ground hide. This hide is for lying down in and getting that low angle view that we're so often looking for in wildlife photography. As you see here, it's very flush to the ground. Look how low that is. And I will often use this for photographing birds on water. So here in Scotland, we've got loads of locks with wintering birds. I'll use this hide regularly for that type of photography. It's also a very good hide to use birds on leks or anything else that moves a ground level and want to get that low view. You can check out the video where I photograph black grouse on a lek using the hockey hide. I'm not going to go into the features and how to set up each individual hide in this video. I think it's going to be long enough, but I'll put up links to the setup and some videos for field examples where I've used these hides in the field for wildlife photography before. One thing I want to say about the, the bottom of the hides here, it's a really rough material, completely waterproof bottom. So I've been lying in muddy and wet fields before and no water has gotten in. So a really good hide. For this hide, ideally what you want is a ground layer, such as maybe like a yoga mat or a small blow up mattress, and then perhaps a bean bag to steady your camera lens on and then you're good to go. Now let's move on to the Mono V2. Now this is a big hide, comes in a carrier bag, weighs about four kilograms or six kilograms if you add all the accessories with it. Mono V2, I got it open right now, but as you can see, it is big, it is massive. I can actually lie right down in it and I am 185, I can easily fit in this and I can sleep in here if I want to. So, great for, you can photograph here lying at ground level, or you can photograph out the side windows. It's got six windows in total. You can have two photographers sitting next to each other photographing out the side window. So a great, a great hide for spending longer time in and maybe even leaving up for days at a time. I've left this through some pretty horrific storms and it's still standing. Um, really good sturdy hide. Also comes with a roof canopy, so it's very waterproof. The bottom of the hide actually comes out as well, so it's, you can put chairs on there without um, worrying about the bottom of the hide. And you can check out a recent video that I did using the Mono V2 during lockdown in the UK photographing garden birds. Then we got the V6. Now, the V6 is probably the most adaptable wildlife photography hide there is. On its own, the V6 can be used as a pop-up hide. It folds down fairly small, and you can attach it to a bag to take with you out into the field. 
Now, if you only intend to get one hide for wildlife photography, then the V6 is probably gonna be it. The V6 depends on how you're gonna use it, what you need with it. A chair and a tripod is a must if you use it as a pop-up hide to sit in, and you may wanna get a small blow-up mattress and a bean bag if you're gonna use it to lie down in. At its basic form, it is like this. It's similar to the V Plus pop-up hide. You can use it like this as a sit-in hide for photography. However, with additional room. Awnings you can put on the back just to create some extra space for yourself and with a roof as well. So I'll put on the additional room right now. So I'll show you here, you can get that out. It means you can actually lie down in it. Tragopan B6 with the additional room. So you can see here, you can lie down in it now. You can camp in it, with plenty of space. The additional room comes with a ground sheet as well. So now it's possible to lie down quite comfortably, photographing out the lower window or camping in or whatever you want. So a very adaptable hide. Also come with, comes with a roof, similar to the canopy here you see on the Monol, obviously with the same camouflage pattern as this one here. So incredibly versatile. You can check out a recent video I did photographing red deer rut here in Scotland using this hide. And I was just using the awning then, which means that there's no ground sheet, but there's just an extra bit of room on the back. Don't be put off by the aluminum kind of inside look of it. That is to keep the hide really dark. It is not visible from the outside. It is to keep the hides really dark on the inside. So you're not giving away any kind of shades or anything like that. It also helps to create a temperature difference where if it's really cold outside, it keep warmer inside. And on the flip side, when the sun is just coming straight down to the hide, it keeps a little bit cooler inside the hide. So really well-made hides. Last but not least, we've got the floating hide. The floating hide really gives you the opportunity to get into unique angles, photographing birds on water from a unique perspective that few others can. Now for the floating hide, you're gonna want a tripod head to attach your camera lens, and also something to keep warm and dry. So either some chest waders or a dry suit, wet suit, depending on how cold it is. I got a dry suit myself, so I'll be trying that out in the next Tragopan video. And they're all available on the websites. If you're in the US or Canada, it's photographyblinds.com. For Europe and the rest of the world, it is tragopan-shop.com. So check them out, and don't forget to check out all these different camouflage scarves, nets, ghillie blanket, ghillie coat, 3D camo suit, uh, waterproof poncho, all kinds of stuff just made for wildlife photographers to keep us hidden in the field, to be able to get close to wildlife and photograph them. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any more questions about the hide, leave them below or send us an email on the website. We'll get back to you soon. Catch you next time.